when a lot of people could have put their head down, we chose to continue to keep going, you know, and I think that showed the fight of the defense, first of all. But just being able to shake back from a tough loss like that and just keep stacking the days and just keep honing our technique and just overall just keep getting better every week. How much of the little things kind of make a difference maker along the defensive front? Um, it's a lot, you know, just, just from little things like attacking the tip of the pad, having good eyes, um, being able to have good block recognition, you know, all that stuff that I feel like we was lacking at the beginning of the season, um, you know, and with Coach Pete being an addition to our room, you know, it's been very helpful just to have a, a old mind like him around, somebody that really invented D-line play in some, in some sort, you know, um, but just Doubling down on just the little things, like I said, um, eyes, good technique, hand placement, stuff like that, it'll go a long way. Does he just speak the language that's kind of easy to do? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, just from transitioning from different coaches, from our freshman year, like O, um, and just kind of speaking the same language that O was speaking, and then going to Coach Kane, and they speak two different languages. So it's just like, you know, hearing and, and hearing the old language that I was already hearing, you know, and just a good refreshment for me. What do you specifically learn from Coach Kane? Um, just to trust my eyes and just trust my technique, you know, um, not really having to try to press and make plays and just allowing things to happen and allowing things to come to me naturally, you know, um, and just trusting my technique, like I said, you know, just having the comfortability just to be able to know I'm, I'm prepared and everything like that. You guys are sitting in a very similar position to where you were last year at this time. Just what does the next two weeks look like in terms of preparing for this game and obviously all, all that comes with it? Um, for sure, I mean, uh, we, we, we definitely going to take it week by week, but you know, you know, we got, we know we have a great matchup next for us, you know, um, but we got to get through the bye week and we got to, uh, you know, we got to double down on our process, you know, and we got to stay true to ourselves and I feel like everything else will take care of itself. How do you approach the bye week? Like, what do you do to sort of use that time? Um, You know, I definitely want to get 100% help and just, you know, get in the training room, get my hands, I had a couple of dislocated fingers in the past few weeks, just getting my hands right, getting my legs right, you know, just being able to kind of take a chill um, that I haven't got since the beginning of the season. Do you think this team needs that? Yeah, week? for sure. I mean, you know, just everybody, I feel like, you know, you never really, in the SEC every week, going against a tough opponent every week, you know, not everybody is playing 100%. I feel like everybody got some type of nick or some type of neck, you know, that we all can get fixed up. So I think it's good for the team. Where are you at on your journey as far as being better? Um, you know, it's been ups and downs, you know, but I feel like um, through the last couple of weeks, I've been, I've been steadily getting better, you know, and that's just all it was for me, you know, just getting back to being who I am and I know I could be. Um, and just getting the rest off, you know. I feel like what Coach Jing is getting here and really teaching me it's good technique and just how to act and how to think right, you know, I feel like it'll be a, go a long way for me.